Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute cat ear ear warmers. It's, they're super fuzzy. They're super, super cute. So join me in crocheting this cute pattern. Stay tuned, everybody. All right, guys, so the tools you're going to need to make this pattern is um, you're going to need yarn, and I'm just using a Red Heart worsted weight 4 yarn that you can find anywhere. If you want to see um, what I, I use exactly, I use like a really deep purple. Um, I'll leave that link in the description below. I'm using my 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a measuring tape, and of course you're going to need your size chart. Now, I'm going to make an adult medium, so I'm going to need about 20 inches in length here for these um, cute little ear warmers and all the stitches we're using is just a single crochet um, if you have trouble keeping track of where you've began and ended at you may want to have a stitch marker also so that way you can um, make sure that um, you're keeping track of where you're beginning your stitches at so here what I'm doing is I am just going to make a slip knot onto my crochet hook there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain and I'm going to chain to 20 inches. So I'm just going to chain, make a chain all the way until I get to 20 inches. And of course you can make this any size you want to just chain um, the length that you need. Oh, in my size chart, you can find that on my community page. It won't let me uh, do it in the description, but you can find it on my community page. So here, I'm just measuring, seeing how long I have to go. So I've got a pretty good distance to go here. Um, I've only got about eight inches so far. So here, I'm just going to continue to chain until I get to my 20 inches. Alright, so now we've got where it stretches to about 20 inches, which is what we want. You want to make sure that um, it's not quite 20 inches, you want it to stretch to that 20 inches. And now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch we made. The most important thing when doing this is to make sure you are um, not turning your chain. You want to make sure that you um, slip stitch and it's um, even around that the chain is not turning at all so what I'm doing here is I just um, chained one but I'm still I'm gonna look at this and make sure that it's not turning so again just make sure you are not turning that chain when you work into it so you can see I'm kind of looking at it now I'm like okay what do I need to do here and um, I'm stretching it out again, making sure that that chain is not turning. And um, after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just make one single crochet all the way around. And then when I get to the first one that I made, I'm gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet or the first single crochet that I made. And again, I'm just doing one single crochet all the way around. And the most important part in this whole thing right now is that you make sure that that chain does not turn while you're working in it. And I'll be speeding this up so you don't have to watch me just do double crochets over and over and over and over again all the way around because or single crochets I mean over again all the way around um, because that's really we're only using a single crochet for this whole thing so it's very very easy to make extremely beginner friendly everyone and it just turns out so incredibly cute. And here what I'm doing is I'm counting my stitches and um, it's a good idea to count your stitches. I have 65 total stitches um, in this in each round. So um, I'm counting my stitches that way I make sure that every round that I do has 65 total stitches in it and then I'm not accidentally doing one too many or um, one too less. And <laughs> you can hear my dog in the background, that's funny.
So now I'm just going to slip stitch to that first um, single crochet that I made. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do one single crochet in each of these single crochets all the way around. And remember, I have 65 on this um, on each round, so I'm going to make sure that I have 65 single crochets on this round. And then when I get done, I'm going to slip stitch to the first single crochet that I made. So now I'm just going to slip stitch that first one made again, chain one, and then continue going all the way around just like I've been doing until I get to about the four inch mark. And I'm going to stagger it when I do this song. This time I'm starting this stitch, the next row I'll start in the next stitch, but I just want to, I'm just going to make sure I don't do too many, so I'll have 64, so I'll have one stitch extra here. That makes the middle line up correctly. So you see how I'm skipping this stitch right here because I already have my number right here that I need. So I have 65 stitches already. So I'm just going to slip stitch into this first stitch that I made, chain one, and now instead of going into this stitch, I'm going to go into this next stitch right here. And I'm still going to do 65 single crochets. That's just going to make this line lighten up correctly.
Then we're going to slip stitch to the first one we made, chain one, and then we're going to repeat this over and over again until we get the inches that we need wide. So this one's going to go into the same loop this time because we went into the next loop last time. I'm going to just do 65 single crochets again. So this time I'm starting in the next one. So now I'm just slip stitching to that first um, single crochet that I made and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to now I'm going to start in that next stitch because I started in the same stitch last time so this time I'm going to start in that next stitch I'm just going to slip stitch all the way around and uh, or single crochet gosh all the way around and then slip stitch to that first stitch that I made.
And guys, if you like what you're seeing, please continue or consider subscribing to my channel and pushing the like button. Make a comment and let me know what you guys would like to see. If you subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out. I would really appreciate it, guys. I'm going to measure it just to see how many inches I have now. So I am about two and a half inches. So I need a little bit more to go here.
right guys so now I'm going to measure this again see how long it is so here I'm at about I'm right at three and a half inches so I think that's good for me so I am going to go ahead I'm going to leave my yarn long here and I'm going to cut it tie that off and um, leave my yarn long and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work um, the yarn the piece I left long straight down so it doesn't have to go a that line right there is to have to go right on that line just make sure you try to um put it straight down or as straight down as you can so again it doesn't have to work right on that line because that line isn't quite straight down so i want to make sure that i'm going as straight down as um, i can now it doesn't have to be perfect by any means but i'm just working that piece of yarn in and out there and i'm um, going again straight all the way down with it So I'm going to take the string and I'm just going to kind of pull it to bunch this up right here. See how I'm bunching it up right like that. And then I'm going to take this one. I should have pulled it to the back already, but I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull this one to the back right like this. I'm going to thread it through a little bit till it gets over here. Let's see. Let's thread it through to right here. And then let's pull it to the back right over here. So let's pull this other one to the back. I left it long for a reason. So let's pull that right like that. And we're going to turn it over and what we're going to do is we're just going to tie it like this right here on the back side. And if you want it a little tighter, do it a little tighter. It's okay. So I'm just going to tie that right here right like that on the back side so you can't see it all right now that we have our main piece made now all we have to do is make our ears so I'm using a really fuzzy um, kind of yarn here to make the ears and so what I did was I made a slip knot and I'm just doing um I chain two and then I'm making four single crochets in the first or the second chain from my hook so the first chain that I made and I'm just going to slip stitch to that first um, single crochet that I made and I'm going to chain one and um, after I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, two single crochets in that first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then I'm just going to repeat that all the way around and um, until I get uh, back to the first stitch that I made and then I'm going to single crochet to that first stitch that I made. You can tell here I made some of those a little too tight so I'm having a hard time working in them. Uh, make sure you make yours a little bit looser, um, especially since this yarn, this fuzzy yarn, can be a little bit hard to see. So um, just make sure you make yours a little looser so you can tell exactly where yours need to be worked into. And I'm going to go ahead and use a stitch marker because I was having such a hard time telling what I was doing. So here what I did is now... Um, I'm chaining one and now I'm doing two single crochets in that first stitch and then I'm going to use my stitch marker and mark that first stitch that I made and now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around and um, on this row I'm going to have a total of nine single crochets and when I get done I'm going to slip stitch to that single crochet that I made. So here I'm just slip stitching that first single crochet that I made. I removed my stitch marker. Now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do on this round, round four, I'm going to just I do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I'm marking that first stitch again that way I don't get confused. 
and just one single crochet all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made. All right, now I'm going to slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Now I'm going to repeat that one more time. I'm going to chain one, and now I'm going to repeat that one more time. So I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and that'll be nine again on this row. Now in this row, I'm just single crocheting to that first slip stitch that I made. Now I'm going to, in the first stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. And then I'm going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches. And I'm going to repeat that all the way around. Um, so I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch there. And then one single crochet in the next two stitches and then repeat that all the way around and this row will have a total of 12 single crochets and then after this row you're going to um, slip stitch to the first stitch made and then you're going to um, fasten off your yarn and then you're going to repeat this process one more time for um, for your other ear and when you uh, fasten off this yarn make sure that you leave it long that way um, you can sew it on so here I'm just um, trimming that and then repeat that process the whole thing one more time and um, here I've got the first ear and there's the second ear made so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew those on to my um, little ear warmer there and so what I did was I just stuffed it a little bit you can add a little fiber feel to it I had a little bit of yarn left over for another project so I just decided to stuff it with that yarn that I had left over and so what I want to do is I'm going to get my yarn needle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go all the way around this and attach it to sew it to um, my ear warmers here and I'm going to put it kind of right in the middle I think and I want it to curve a little bit so I might actually curve it just a tiny tiny bit there so I'm just going to start sewing I'm going to sew all the way around this um, just go in and out um, back and forth until you get it sewn in really good all the way around All right, so now that I've got it sewn in nice and secure, I'm just going to uh, tie it off in the back, make a knot, go through a couple of times and just tie it off right there in the back. I'm gonna cut my, cut my yarn after I'm done. And actually what I'm doing here is I'm gonna go through the middle. So I decided not to cut the yarn. I was going to at first, but I decided not to. So I decided to pull that little piece of yarn up through the middle of the ear there and just kind of uh, work it through a little bit and um, just leave it attached the whole thing
So now I'm going to do the same thing I just did for the other side here. So I'm just going to thread my needle and um, I'm going to work all the way around. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually try to be smart and grab my measuring tape and actually measure how far it is from one side to the other because I'm trying to mirror both sides so they're even. So here I measured that. So here let me measure the other one. So I'm just going to stick my needle in right there where that's supposed to be. And now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to work all the way around securing it. And again, you can stuff this with a little bit of polyfill or whatever that you have. I use some yarn scraps every once in a while to stuff things. So you can just stuff it with that. I'm going to curve it a little bit so it goes kind of um, all the way around curved just a bit. And um, got distracted there for a second and uh, just make sure that you are um, making it look the same it wasn't looking quite right I had to kind of get up and look at it for a second there so just make sure that you're making it look the same or or reasonably close to the same now after I got done and tried it on I think if I had it to do over again I might actually put the ears a little bit closer together a little bit closer towards the middle um, maybe um, that might make them look a little more cat-like. I think this would be really cute if you did it in green too. I think it would look kind of like Shrek if you did it in green and left the ears um, kind of where they're at here. That would be super, super cute also. And again, on this side, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. I'm just gonna work that around through the middle so I'm not actually having to, um, to cut my end there. So I'm just working it right there through the middle. I tied it off and so it was nice and secure. They just worked that through the middle there. Thanks for watching Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. I hope you loved this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking the video. And um, I'll see you again next time. Happy hooking, everybody.